वेलकम बैक वी आर डिस्कसिंग प्रोलैप्स एंड फॉर वुमेन इन द रिप्रोडक्टिव एज ग्रुप वेर शी इज विलिंग टू कॉन्जर्व हर मेन्स्ट्रुअल एंड रिप्रोडक्टिव फंक्शन वी आर डिस्कसिंग वॉट आर द कॉन्जर्वेटिव सर्जरीज सो इन केस ऑफ कंजनाटल प्रोलैप्स वेर द सर्विस इज एलॉन्गेटेड वी कैन ऑलवेज गो फॉर फॉर्दर किल सर्जरी इन विच वी डू एंटीरियर कॉल्पोराफी अलॉन्ग विद एम्पुटेशन ऑफ द सर्विक्स बट इट हैज सर्टन डिसएडवाटेजेस एंड आई वुड लाइक टू रिपीट माई सेल्फ The complications of Father Gill's repair are: there can be cervical stenosis, incompetent OS, recurrent pregnancy losses, preterm deliveries, PROM, and cervical dystocia. So fertility surely gets affected with Father Gill's repair. So we have to counsel and take the right decision in case if the patient wants to have fertility after the surgery. again from mcq point of view all these complications are very important please remember that it causes stenosis and incompetence as well it can also lead to preterm and premature rupture of membranes in labor the cervix may have dystocia in case if there is no elongation of the cervix or we want to conserve the cervix we have schroedkers modification of father gills in which we don't do cervical amputation we just cut the macanrod ligaments which are laterally placed on the cervix we cut them ligate them and then bring them together in front of the cervix overlap them and then suture them again so this is kind of tightening tightening the ropes of a tent which will act now we have changed their location from the lateral edges we have brought them in front of the cervix cross them and now we are suturing them so this way we are tightening the ropes and thus this will avoid further prolapse of the uterus so in schroedkers modification of father gills we avoid cervical amputation thus we can avoid the side effects which are seen in father gills surgery stumdorf suture is the suture which is important in creating the new uh, external os which we form later once we ampute the cervix we bring in those vaginal walls inside and put them inside the os thus creating a new cervical os so stumped off suture is the name of the suture which we need to remember in case if the patient is young nally paris and we want to avoid all these consequences of further gill surgery we have options of abdominal sling surgeries in which the prolapsed organ is tackled abdominally and is hanged up with some suture material and is fixed to either a dynamic structure like rectus sheath and rectus muscle or to a fixed bony structure that is anterior longitudinal ligament on the sacrum so let's see what different type of surgeries we have abdominal cervicopexy in which rectus muscular facial slings are used the muslin 12 inch tape is tied anteriorly on the isthmus there are different types of surgeries schroedkers sling surgery for nally paris so in abdominal sling surgeries we have purandares in which the muslin tape is attached anterior to the isthmus of the cervix anteriorly and then it is fixed laterally to the rectus muscle or rectus sheath on both the sides it has got advantage that whenever there is incra- increase in intraabdominal pressure and if the patient has good muscle tone the rectus muscle they contract and thus the threads are pulled up thus avoiding prolapse but the disadvantage is it causes retroflexion and thus for after a long time it may cause prolapse again so shirodkar modified this and he did what he attached the muslin tape posteriorly and decided to hang it to a permanent bony fixed point that is anterior longitudinal ligament on the sacral promontory on right side it's easy to go below the peritoneum and ha- attach it there but on left side we have to do a lot of dissection to separate the sigmoid colon form the sos loop and go through it and sigmoid injury is very common on left side so that is disadvantage of schroedkers sling so virkud has designed a composite sling in which on right side he does what schroedkar has done that the posteriorly attached muslin tape is brought posteriorly below the peritoneum and attached to the anterior longitudinal ligament on the sacral promontory and on the left side to avoid injury to the sigmoid colon the other end is brought and attached to the rectus muscle on that side so it's composite sling khanna has 
uh, suggested a sling where the muslin drape is brought out behind the isthmus and then both the ends are attached to the anterior superior iliac spines. So these this ways these surgeries are advised and done in nulli paris patient who or patient who wants to desire her menstrual function to be maintained her reproductive function to be maintained she wants to conceive. So the biggest advantage that we can avoid side effects of father gills where cervical stenosis and repeated abortions are quite common. Along with these sling surgeries we can also go for Moscovitz repair where we have to reduce enterocil by putting bursting sutures in the POD in different planes from below upwards. Sacral colpohistroplexy. In this we use mesh to substitute supports from the back of the uterus to the front of the sacrum for ut uterine suspension. For postmenopausal women or elderly patient, we have few surgeries. If the patient is totally unfit for surgery, usually postmenopausally we prefer doing abdom uh, we prefer doing vaginal hysterectomies along with anterior posterior repair that is anterior colporaphy for the cystocin and posteriorly posterior colpoperineuraphy. But if patient is too elderly or she has some debilitating disease or she is unfit for surgery, then in such patients we can go for Quick surgeries like Lefort's repair. In Lefort's, what we do, the anterior and the posterior vaginal wall are approximated together so as to convert a single barrel vagina into double barrel. So when these two portions are attached, the uterus cannot come out through the vaginal opening. So apposition of freshly created raw areas on anterior and posterior vaginal wall with catgut causes healing with fibrosis thus attaching these two and single barrel vagina is converted into double barrel to drain the secretions but uterus cannot get prolapsed through it. Contraindication if there are any diseases of uterus if there is any suspicion of CA cervix we cannot do this. Active sexual life is not possible after this so this is done only in very old patients who are sexually inactive having some medical disorders, debilitating conditions who are unfit for major surgeries like vaginal hysterectomies. Lefort's or the alternatives for Lefort's can be Dani stitch or colpoclasis where a stitch is taken at the introitus and the introitus is closed and small opening is left just to drain the secretions. Walt prolapse, it occurs as a complication if surgery, vaginal uh, hysterectomy or abdominal surgery is done the vault can get prolapsed later or sling surgery for stress urinary incontinence. In failure to repair enterocin, in these cases vault prolapse can be seen. Degrees of vault prolapse, if the vaginal apex is visible at introitus, it is called as first degree. If the vault protrudes through the introitus out, it is second degree. And if the vagina is lying outside entirely, then it is called third degree. Management, the surgeries for vault prolapse are either transvaginal sacrospinous colpopexy. It is done in obese patient. Marceline sling used to fix the vault to a fixed point that is sacrospinous ligament. Transabdominal sacral colpopexy in which the vault is suspended to sacral promontory with Marceline mesh and this is done in young women. In old women we can again go for colpoclasis where we obliterate the vaginal cavity using bursting sutures and the vault cannot get prolapsed or we can also do Lefort's repair in case if the patient is unfit for surgery. Thank you very much. This finishes prolapse.